Aperture seeker. Step careful there. as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an aunt crates to wear the crown, it... Should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it? Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Not your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarns with me? Wonder who'll do better, you or Yalmar the Giant Slayer? You're shite roasting. Cyrus! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her. She's so. so. Why, stubborn, fierce, mule headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus, when they're twins in that regard. Don't see Crash. He talking to the Arles? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell, which or perhaps you'd fancy some fisty cups with the Vil cards. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Take a look. Still got all my teeth? Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. Huh. Doubt it. That's so? Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the build cards, and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. Filled carls. Who are they? Ah, these wild men. Live in the hills. Shepherds, then? Aye, without the sheep. They live off killing, eat only what they hunt, and they fight like no one else. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, wolf! Heard you're taking on challengers in fist fights. Challengers? Ah, nay. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly!
good. Hard. Oh, what a fight. Smacked his gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. Well, lost the wager. But that were such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market, where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king, by the grace of votes, is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking? Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, naught else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Bran's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanriger instead. 
Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? <laughs> Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on crepe blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? Then yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalmar. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. I'll be on. 
He's dead. Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I will not stand in this. Dad, come here! Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog! Calm down! Calm down! Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives, but we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on crate, find and kill them, else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. To be elsewise, we... We've no time for that. I know where to find the guilty. Wait? Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Know who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Du, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Senna. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. here bear's head but the tongue's short like a human's mouth smells of honey liqueur mead and something else something earthy bears like honey before it's fermented 
Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo. Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. Aldrich. Shit, no more than a kid. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards... Mushrooms? Bowls empty. But the scent's in the air. Coming from... Somewhere else in this room. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... Human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The Skald's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. See, swallow the trailers. Freer, Our Lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said. Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Marjoram. Mardrome related in any way to berserkers? Aye, but only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrome were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage, but as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrum. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, 
but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udelrek needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I help prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on. We could find some clues there. Darkness behind you. Darkness behind you. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's got to flow, but so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. Keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? Mahakaman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. Ah. Right behind you. That's a relief. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another exit behind the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once, ah, bygone days. Medallion's humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. Thank you. 